Lesson 146. Prepositions with the genitive case. Catherine, as I mentioned, our readers already know how to use the genitive, dative, and accusative in grammatical structures. You know, they know how to use the genitive to show possession. They know how to use the dative for indirect objects and the accusative for direct objects. But now we're going to be looking at new ways to use these cases. We're just going to reuse the same cases, but with prepositions. So I guess you could say that the noun cases, they don't just have one use, they have several different uses. Yeah, and this is something that is really useful to know because the same case can have several different functions. And so knowing those different functions will help as the students are reading in the future. We'll just take it on a case-by-case -case basis. <laughs> so the, the big thing we want to teach our listeners in this lesson is that the genitive case has a certain quality to it that expresses separation or mm -hmm. sourcing. Right. If you want to say that something is the source of something, that something's coming from something, you can use the genitive. Or if something is being separated from something, you can use the genitive. Mm -hmm. So the idea here is if something is moving away from something, that's what the genitive can express. Right. The dative and accusative will express other things, other kinds of movement. But for right now, we're looking at the genitive. And so when you think of the genitive case, think of motion away from. Well, in English, sometimes we even have this where we say someone is coming out of a room or even in terms of source or origin, this is the product of a country. And so that of idea still lingers in English as a source idea or sometimes like from where something is coming. Yeah, we might say things like, this wine is of a certain class, meaning that it's from a certain class or possesses the qualities of a certain kind. So, we, yeah, you're, I see your point. We use the word of, uh, which, by the way, is one of the ways in English that we show possession. Mm -hmm. So what we're saying here is that in ancient Greek, prepositions that mean things like from or out of are going to work with the genitive case. And we have the word house here, that's oikos, here for practice. And we have the genitive of oikos, which is oiku, right? Mm -hmm. So we have a couple of examples here where the house and the cat are. We have a cat helper who's helping us demonstrate the prepositions. Meow. So if we had a <laughs> sentence in Greek that said from the house, then that preposition for from would take the genitive case in Greek. Exactly. So you'd have from, and then you'd have to oiku. Mm -hmm. So that forms a prepositional phrase in ancient Greek, preposition for from, then the noun that it's from is placed into the genitive case. Likewise, we have out of. In ancient Greek, there's a certain preposition that means out of, which we will learn soon. That's also expressing that you're coming from something. Mm -hmm. Again, that will take the genitive case. And so you'll have out of, to, oiku. So I guess the, the biggest thing with this lesson, though, is that because the genitive in Greek, when it's used with the preposition, has that kind of from or out of idea, when you see a preposition with the genitive, it's a good rule of thumb to say, okay, this is probably talking about out of or from or some kind of separation idea. And as you go along and you get more experience working with Greek and you read more texts, you'll see that this isn't always the case 100% of the time, but we're giving you right. good guidelines, major, simple guidelines that will get you started in a reliable and dependable kind of way. Exactly. So as a general rule, the genitive case expresses separation or source. 
And so that's what we're seeing in this lesson. And so now what this means is that you know two ways to use the genitive case. You can use it to show possession, and you can use it to show separation, something moving from something with a preposition. And so the thing I want to point out with that is that these noun cases have multiple uses. There's not just one use for a case. There are multiple things you can do with them, and that's one of the big things I want you to take away from this lesson.